Hi. After last time, I think I will actually write on the question here. Just remember, in your exam, do not write the solution on the question booklet. You have to write it on line paper. So here we go. Uh, we got 160 people surveys. Six, uh, so we got all the numbers here. So we need to find out how many. So chocolate, so we pretty straightforward, 60. So P will be 60 minus 48, pretty straightforward. This is 12 here. And Q, we have the dark chocolate. Let's see anything. 48 children prefer dark cho uh, normal chocolate. And we got total, we got 160 here. So P, Q have to be 100. All right, does it make sense to you? So 160 people, 60 is children. What P, 100 should be Q. Then we move on. The people are chosen at random. Survey the probability of three of them are uh, adult. So we want to have adult to be 160. And then the second one is only 99 adult left. Yeah, but 59 times is a, we, is a probability with replacement. So the number of adults and number of people surveyed will be left over lastly. All right. And then we just get to our calculator. 100 times 99 times 88. And then 160 times 159 times 158. Lucky we got calculator for this question. So the fraction 0805, this is the exact value. And the actual 3 sig fig, 0 0.4241. Let me write nicely. Oh, Nessa, given that a probability of people who like, who are adults, given that is M, is 1 over 3. So we need to find out the probability of those. This time I really need paper for it. I'm sorry. So here we go. So which is probability of A intercept M over probability of M equals to 1 over 3. Supposingly. So let's see. Which means that this is X. Probability of adult, uh, AX, we're looking at the table there. So it's X out of all the people who like chocolate. And then that equals to 1 over 3. So it's pretty straightforward. 3X equals to 48 plus X. 2X equals to 48. X equals to 24. Very basic. It looks hard, but then if you think the other direction, you do not need to have all those big numbers. All you need to do is reading the table back again. So that's pretty easy with those. A person is selected at random, write down the probability that they are an adult who like chocolate. Which means that we will have probability of A intersect M. Which is, now we have X equals to 24. So we will have it sideways, 24 out of 160 total. So we simplify that. We got three out of 20. I prefer simplified version with those. So this is our second question then. Now the classic here we come. Determine A and M are independent. So we find out A intersect M just then is three over 20. So now we want probability of adult, which is we need to find y. So x is 24 plus y equals to 100. So 100 minus 24. Since it's a GDC paper, I'll keep using it. 76. So probability of adult is 100 out of, if we don't need y, 160. And then probability of milk chocolate equals to 48 plus 24 over 160.
equals to 72 over 160. Now we multiply that to see if it's equal to the intersect. If it is, it's a if it is, it's an independent event. If it's not, sorry. So we have 100 over 160 times 72 over 100. So that gave us 9 over 32 as not equal to 3 over 20. Therefore, it is not independent. All right, pretty straightforward. If they are equal, then they are in, they are in the hand. All right. So now, last bit. If the if they can assume the survey represent a whole city, there. So what is the probability to at least five of them like dark chocolate? So now we have the dark chocolate there. So we need to find out number of dark chocolate people. Eh. Number of dark chocolate people is twelve. Plus seventy-eight and uh, seventy-six. Careful, bond. This equals to eighty-eight, which means that I have need to get to the question. Probability of people who like dark chocolate is eighty-eight over one sixty. Uh eighty-eight divided by one sixty. All right, zero point five five. I have a previous probability; it will never change. I want a sample, 10 people, and I want at least five. This pretty straightforward is a binomial. So X is a binomial with 10 trial and the probability is. So we want at least five. We want probability of X smaller or equals to five, at least. So now we get to our binomial. So come with a GDC. This doesn't work anymore. So we go to manual statistics. Don't worry about those numbers. Go to distribution, binomial. Then we have a probability. We have a range there, so it's CD. Make sure the data is variable because you can choose the list, which is the data you enter, but this is not what we want. And then lower, we want at least five. So at least five and the upper could be a big number, could be 10, because the maximum we can have is 10. Number of trials 10 and the probability provided 0 0.55. So now that give us pretty straightforward. We got 0 0.73843, blah, 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 blah. Three significant figures. All right. So that's it with the statistics and probability question. Now the question is pretty good, I think. Like not too hard and just a few points you need to justify. Uh, the independent is pretty classic, so yeah, that's a pretty classic, easy question, straightforward. All right, until the next time, we have another question for you. See ya.